Shall we open our Bibles as we stand before God in the book of Revelation, chapter 3? Book of Revelation, the Word of God is speaking to us. It's important for us also to open the Word of God this morning to come to the close of this service and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. And the angel, and the angel of the church of Philadelphia, right? This thing says, He that is holy, He that is true, He that has the key of David, He that openeth, and no man shutteth, and is shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works, Yon I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou shalt go out a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Beyond I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but they lie, do lie. Beyond I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept of my word, and uh, the word of my patient, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that trail upon the earth. Beyond I come quickly, hold fast in thou hearts, that no man take thy crown. He that overcometh, I will make him a pillar in the temple of God, and shall go no more out, and he shall write, he shall write in the name of my God. They were the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Amen. Amen. We can just be seated uh, for a few minutes. We are just coming to close of our signs. We are going to our time before the presence of God. And as we come to the close of this first service, the Lord God is speaking to us about a very important word today. The one the Lord put in my heart to share with you this morning. The Lord has been spoken this morning, but the word of the Lord was laid upon my heart is the, the word called the open and open door. Open door. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. An open door. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, the open door before you. The open door. The open door. That which the Lord has opened the door. And this morning as we worship, we continue speaking about the things God wants to do in our lives. And the things God has already done. And this morning from the time of prayer here, from the time of our, our worship, the Lord has laid so much in our lives. And I want to just be very brief by the grace of God and share this word, which is very, very important to us. The Lord is speaking about to this church of Philadelphia. And I want to identify eternity with this church of Philadelphia. And I want us to identify, I want you to identify yourself with this church of Philadelphia. Hallelujah. This is a church which in time of difficulties, this church stood. In a time which things were not easy, this church stood. This is a church went through so much challenge, this church of Philadelphia stood. Hallelujah. If you look at the many letters of Apostle or of the, of the Jesus, the seven churches, this is the only church which never got a word back. All the other churches got back. But this church stood in a very difficult time. And uh, as, as I've been looking at our, this church, this church, eternity, and how we have been able to stand. The other day I was telling someone that even in time when every other church was closing, this 
child in the middle of it. Through very difficult times. And the Lord uh, gave a word to me as I looked at it. This church of Philadelphia is like comparing it to what Reverend Miriam was talking about, the lady called Anna. Anna was a woman who kept her faith. She went through so much opposition. Even her own, her own co-wife, Brista Vimesta. And uh, she went so much through frustration. But I want to say there's an open door. Hallelujah. I am speaking about the open door. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I am saying that there is an open door that the Lord has opened. Hallelujah. I say to you, there is an open door. Amen. Anna was not producing anything. Amen. Anything. Amen. His co-wife every every week, every year she was having baby showers. Amen. Anna could just hear their parties in the in the house for a penina. People have come to celebrate another baby. And Anna was producing nothing. It looks like for second by God. Hallelujah. Sometimes you know, you look at yourself and you wonder. You see other people, even others who don't even have anything, overflowing in things. Many things, children were coming one after another. But Anna was having mercy. But I say this an open door. Hallelujah. And God said to me something as uh, this morning as the battle was going on. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. God had an open door for Anna one day. One day came. Hallelujah. God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Maybe you have looked at other people blessed. You wonder, why not me? Why? Why? Hallelujah. I want to tell you, remain faithful before God. Hallelujah. And remain faithful before God. And the Bible says, one day she decided to remain before God and she waited upon God. And she said, God, you have an open door for me. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. She said, God, you have an open door for me, for my life. You know the shame I've gone through, but you have an open door for my life. You have come, oh Lord, to a shame, my enemies. Let me tell you, when God Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometime, you know, I was thinking that when the Benin had that Anna as they made in the church praying, she was saying, <laughs> she was laughing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. One as a female. But she turned before God. Because God has an open door for your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And the Bible says she produced one, one child. Hallelujah. One Tosha. Amen. One child called Samuel. Hallelujah. Called Samuel. Amen. You know, Samuel is a, was a unique person. 
He was the only person who was a judge and a prophet. He was the king and the prophet. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the Lord asked me, where are they? Where are the children of Benina in this Bible? Where are the children of Benina in this Bible? Hallelujah. Amen. See, Benina produced so many. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm a Maganda. Again, I'm a Gua. Houseboy. Again, I'm a Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
there are many closed doors in this life. This life is full of closed doors. Everywhere you go, you find closed doors. Isn't it true? Apart from this church gate which is open, I want you to walk here in current groups and find an open door. An open gate. Hallelujah. That is how life is everywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every place doors are closed. Amen. Every place you go, I mean, I think I've been in the book. Other places they have written, Abuna Kas by order. Doors are closed. What else was it doing? Hallelujah. You go to other places, you find doors are closed. But I say today, there is one who has a key for the door of the age. There is one who has a key. Hallelujah. There is one who has a master key. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It is so important to have someone who has a master key. Cars are closed. Amen. Your opportunities have been closed. Everything has been closed. But the Bible says that he that has the key of David. David was a king. It's a kingly king. Hallelujah. It's a king. And this king is a very is a master king. Hallelujah. Amen. He that opened this. Mm. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey, what does it do? Amen. Raise your hand like this, Lord. I thank you. Because you are the king. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I read the scripture, some barrenness is a law. Barrenness is a law. Amen. That people get locked. Their wounds get locked. Hallelujah. That they cannot produce. Hallelujah. The key we are talking about that not only open the physical doors, but also spiritual doors. The keys you are speaking about here. Hallelujah. Amen. What else does it feel well? Maybe it's here with our child in our garden. About our food and our heart. Hallelujah. They cross people's lives. They cross families. They cross opportunities. I am here to say we are one who is greater than the witches. Amen. 
But there is power and anointing to unlock in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Today I want to speak to you. A key is an authority. A key is an authority you carry. Hallelujah. It's an authority you carry. The one with authority carries the key. Hallelujah. And if you are able to open, the Bible says, I know your works. He said to this child, I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. Hey, say an open door. Open door. There's one who opens, no one is at the loss. Isn't it? Is. Now he is saying, I as a chief, hallelujah, the chief master, I open doors and open the crosses. I close doors and open doors. Hallelujah. That's why when Paul and the Silas were in jail and they were locked in the seventh jail, the Bible says there were seven doors. One, two, three, four. Peter, the Peter was locked there inside. Peter was locked inside. Amen. The seventh door. Amen. The people and the kids, but they forgot there's an hour and what a message. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why, that is why, when he came, when he came in the jail, he tapped Peter. He said, Peter, let's go. Hallelujah. The Bible says the first door opened, the second door opened, the third door opened. Why? Because he has the key. I say to you, God, Father, Jesus Christ has the key of your life. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Jesus. There is a key and there is a door. I was telling the Lord, teach me about door and the windows. Amen? Because I'm playing the Bible books about the windows of heaven, but I'm not playing books about the door. The Lord told me a door yeah, is a point of access. Hallelujah! is a point of access. Jesus said, I am the door. It's not only the key, now it's the door. Hallelujah. Hey. Mm. And then my mind, yeah. some cartoon mind was showing me, yeah. taking the door in the middle of a problem. Can you imagine where you take a door there? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Then Jesus becomes what? The door. What is the problem? He says, I am the door. Hallelujah. I am the door. Hallelujah. And where they have put the law, he is a, he is a, he has a key. Praise the name of Jesus. Door speaks about opportunity. Door speaks about opportunities. Hallelujah. Opportunities that are before you. And the Lord says today, as I close, he says, I am set an open before you. I have set an open door before you. The Lord said, I have set an open door before you. The Lord is saying, I have set an open door. Are you hearing me? Say to your name, the Lord is speaking. I have set an open door for you. Hey, what, what, kind, of, what kind of message is this? Huh? One of us
He loves and nobody can love them. What else has he said? Hallelujah. Praise God. I have no time. Shall we stand before God? That's enough for you. Amen. I believe I preach the whole day. If you cannot get that revelation, If the door is open, if the, the Lord has said, an open door, open door, open door, hallelujah. Amen. He has already opened. The Lord said to me, I have opened the door. This morning the Lord was speaking here prophetically. He has said, open, doors are open. He has released it for you. It is for you now to enter in and possess because the Lord has already opened. Amen. Now we can do so much simple and find a name and say, I'm one and you will be a man. I'm not an intruder. Hallelujah. The one who has a key opened the door for me. Hallelujah. What about the employment? The Lord says, I have an open door for you. Kaziko, my friend. What about the man who has a key open the Kaziko. Hallelujah. And today I'm going to pray for people who want to enter the open doors because open doors are open. People are waiting for you. Hallelujah. They are just waiting for you to give you a job. But you are waiting at home. Hallelujah. You need to enter in those doors and say, I am here because the open door is open. The Lord said on Sunday, there is an open door here. Hallelujah! Open door for business! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hey! If I were you, I would enter in camp and say there is an open door here. The Lord said, I have set an open door here. Why? Because the one who is holy and the one who is true has spoken. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen! It is Him that opens. And it has opened for us. Praise God. When he opened for Anna, when he opened for Anna the door, for many years our wound was locked. But there's one man who was a key. Hallelujah. And he opened our wound. Hey, hey, I don't have time to read for you chapter 2 or 1 or all seven. And the Bible says, and Anna does. The one who was crying. She does. She says the one who was barren hey, has become a mother of seven. Is it seven? Hey, what a problem. I don't know. Hey, the one who was barren. Praise the name of Jesus. One of the brothers said, but the one, hey, the one who was barren. Hey, you the dad, you are the one of the men that you grow a carry, you grow a puja, puja, and this is the one, hey, the one. The one who used to come with many children. Yeah, the one, yeah, the one. Mm -hmm. The one who was buried. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. It a quite story. Chapter 2 of Sabbath. And Anna prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My heart is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in the salvation. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Lord, verse 7, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and he lift it up. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 5, that they, are, they that are full have been hired out. And they that are hungry cease. So the body has born what? Seven, my friend, seven. Glory to God.
Praise the name of Jesus. Raise your hand before God. Tell God. Hallelujah. I want to enter in the door that you have opened for me. I thank you for remembering me. I thank you for opening my life. I have been locked. My life has been locked, God. But I thank you for opening the door for my life. I thank you because you are ushering me. Tell the Lord, usher me to that open door. Hallelujah. I may not see it. I may not know it. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, I don't know whether I was dreaming or what was happening to me, but I saw as we went to worship him, I saw that some very, some of the people just coming here with vehicles which are just excellent. I mean, God, if we have a teacher, Hey, let me tell you, I can't go to the house, I can't go to the house, I can't go to the house, Hallelujah! Open door! Glory to God! Raise that hand and say, Lord, I am entering my open door. In the name of Jesus, don't let me to yourself. The door is open for you, to embrace the blessings of God. The door is open. Don't look down at yourself. Don't look at the yesterday. Don't look at your failure. Don't look at the what happened before. The Lord is saying, I am ushering you. I am set a door open before you for your blessing in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray today. Every door that has been closed, I speak it open in the name of Jesus. I pray today. Give a lack of the fumba that you can see the Yesu. We pray the same. Jesus, you are the key to open. Today I am asking you to open. Those doors. Every door that has been closed by Father, spiritual door, family door, in the name of Jesus, financial doors, in the name of Jesus, doors of marriage, in the name of Jesus, every door of joy, growth, and yes, open. I say open. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Today, even if those doors were closed by the witches, Today, I offer those doors. Even if your life was closed by the powers of darkness, I speak today. Let your life be open. In the name of Jesus, I speak. Opportunities that are before you, enter before you. In the name of the Lord, I pray that every door shall open before you ask to enter. It shall open. It shall open. The Lord says, I have set it open. I have set it open. I have set it open for you in the name of Jesus. And you shall see it. They shall open. As we enter there, they shall open in the name of Jesus for your glory, for his glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Say that is my word. Amen. Hallelujah. Eh, Lago, Ada, the Ben and the Flame, Kino, and Yan, you are taken out of your. He would have gone like you know. Amen. Today, the open door for entering the plane in Giasas. Amen. Eh, see, you are so carrying our briefcase. Nine Yahi. Hallelujah. Eh, Hallelujah. Those who are traveling in the nations, they are open. In the name of Jesus. What is the idea of Uzuri? Uzuri Sana, Tendea, is a hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Receive it. Hallelujah. Go for your passport. This is a must. If you are a member of this church, you must have a passport. Then you are never you must have a passport. In Jesus' name. Yeah, because those of nations are open. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. One else was a female. Now, if you part of the passport, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Go and get the passport. Come be pray for it. Hallelujah. One else was a female. Hallelujah. Amen. Even if, even if you are just going to 
call. Hallelujah. To Brazil, Colombia, whatever it is. Amen. And go. Because the door is open. I say today, let me tell you something. Because I, this church, from this church, many people have gone all over the world from this church. The Lord was reminding me about some Sudanese who came here to train them. Bible school. Today they are in Australia running a church. They were Sudanese. Okay? Ethiopians have come here and they have tapped the grace. Many Ethiopians, we have trained them here, they come out of here. Hallelujah. And the Lord was saying, why are the people here not tapping the grace and just going to see others come? There was a young man who came here from Congo. His name was, 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 was Samson. Hallelujah. And he stayed here for some time. I prayed for him. He connected and the door was open today. He's a citizen of America. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord told me this is a big runway. Not only the door, the night also. Like it is a little poor. The night I put the door. That is the only runway they can run from. Wow! Hallelujah. Tell you whatever this around me. Praise the name of Jesus. Get on my feet like I wish in the morning. Hallelujah. I speak. What? The door is open for you. In Jesus' name. Don't move your God. It's a time to give our time and offering before God. Hallelujah. This is a place anointed of God. This is a God as a ministry. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, we thank you for the offering this morning. As we come to give offering and tithes, bless you our giving this morning. Let our people be blessed as they come to give in Jesus' name. So we come to offer before God quickly. We are late. By the grace of God, come. We offer quickly by the grace. God bless you. How many people? This is your first time to come this service. This is your first time.